Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Angelica and today I'm going to do a spring summery look with the new Super Shock shadows from Colourpop and these two are really really nice. Um, this is like a neon color, like a green neon color with some glitter in it and this one is a yellow one and this is in the shade Glow Sticks and this is in the shade Fizz. So this is the glow stick and this is the fizz. And I also got this new gel liner from Colourpop. This is also in this neon green shade, very cool. So this is in the shade Electric Daisy. And I'm going to do a look with these and also a new single I got from Colourpop. And this is Keep Strolling. And this is in a beautiful like lime green matte. So I thought I would use it today. So as I said, I want to do like very simple springy summer look using these. And I also got some jelly mud shadows from the Villains collection. Those are totally amazing, absolutely blinding and very glittery. And I have a tutorial on that one, so I'll put it in the card if you want to see that. But let's go into this video. So as I always do, I always prime with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm going in with this lime green shade and I'm just going to pop this in my crease and yeah, all over probably. This is a very powdery formula. I can really feel that I have a lot of kick up and maybe it's because it's very neony. It's very powdery and yeah. But it looks really nice. The thing is, if you have this formula that is very, very powdery and it almost like blows away, like blowing away, I don't know. <laughs> Um, it can be a little bit tricky to get them to stay on your lid all day and I have no idea because I'm just doing this for the first time with this shadow so I have no idea if this is going to um, last all day but it looks really pretty. I have a lot of fallout here and that's because it is very very powdery. So I'm going to take some here underneath as well. I'm going to put some more there later on but now I want to use this. I have tried this a little bit actually and I'm going to try this with a phone tip applicator just like this. Like this you can see I've already tried it with this because someone told me, not told me, but I heard someone uh, was talking about that this is a good uh, thing to use when you use the super shock shadows because what I have noticed uh, if you just use like a flat brush like let me see here like this um, it's really hard to pick this up because it's wet and it's it's not powdery formula, it's a wet kind of formula, so it's really, really hard to get it on your brush. So I'm just going to take this actually. So now I'm just taking that green and I can see I have it on my brush and I'm going to just place it like here in my inner and outer corner and in the middle I thought I would just take that yellow. So this has a lot of glitter in it, like small glitter specks, and it's really, really cool actually. It's really, really sparkling. I'm just dragging this like that. It's a very special formula, this Super Shock Shadows. And now I'm just taking it here in the outer part. So I just leave the middle part a little bit. This actually can be a good brush for this or a good tool. <laughs> I think so anyway, because it picks up a lot of 
a lot of that shadow this is a really pretty pretty color now I'm just flipping to that side and I'm going in with that beautiful yellow look at that this is a beautiful color as well I don't know if this is going to show up at all <laughs> because yeah maybe it makes just a tiny different in the middle but they are very close to each other like in colors they are they are not the same obviously but they are really really similar so it's not a big contrast in these colors but I think you can see that it is a little bit yellow in the middle so now I'm going in with that single again and I'm going to take this under my eye and more like pack it here And then I'm going to take this one again and I'm going to take that yellow shadow again and I'm just going to try to put this here in my inner part. I think this works good. I don't know if you have any good like tip for applying the super shock shadows i would love to hear it because they are quite uh how can i say special <laughs> uh, just because of um that wet formula so i need some good advice about these so i'm going to take this green now and i'm going to do the same thing here oh my god <laughs> I hit the pan <laughs> how crazy is that this is not much guys I mean look at that okay well I'm dipping in hard in this one uh, so I'm placing this green here underneath this is going to be a very soft look as you can see and I think I want to have that I mean, I just want to play with these. I think they are pretty cool. And I mean, this this green is very neon green, and I'm really into that for the moment, so I'm really happy. So guys, now it looks like this. I told you guys it's going to be a very simple look today, and I think this is really, really simple, but <laughs> I'm going to put some liner. Yeah, I'm going to take this one. This one in my waterline, of course, because this is really cool. So as I said, I'm going to put some liner mascara and lashes and put something on my lips and I'll be right. So now I'm back and here you have the finished look. And on my lips today, I use this Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Smoky Rose. It looks like this. And this is one of my favorite lipstick, lipstick formula and lipstick color. <laughs> and on top of that, I put a gloss and this is from Dior. It's a very pinky, like rosy pinky gloss. And this is in the shade seven eight three so i will leave everything down in the description box for you to see if you want to see what i use all the products i used and also i use this allure lux bumble uh, lashes and yeah so here you have as i said the like spring summery look and i can really see that these are really 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 pretty they are very very soft as you can see and very pastel-y neon -y, uh, bright shades so I think these are really really nice maybe I should put something in my inner corner um, I'm actually going to put something in my inner corner I'm going to take this pixie uh, glitter so this is in the shade pixie green and this is absolutely stunning so I'm just going to put some glitter here just to make this pop even more yeah. 
something like this. As I said before, this was the finished look using these two and this neon liner. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give me a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel if you want to do that. And I really hope I see you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.